I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Ramsey 2. We're going to do a series of dots that are very important. So put one finger in the center and add a dot. Put two fingers underneath that one and add a dot. Three fingers next and add a dot. And two fingers next and add a dot. Okay? He's got to be proportioned out. You'll see. Alright, starting at the very top, we're going to draw a curve line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come inside, and we're going to draw a curve line in, out, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, draw a curve line out, curve line in, Come to the right, curve line out, curve line in. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a curve line over, up, and connect. Now come over here on the left and let's draw a little extension on that line and draw a curve line in. Come on the right hand side, extend that line a little bit. Now let's draw a curve line in. Okay. Right in the center. Slightly curve line out, curve line up, connect. Come on the left hand side and we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, straight line down, curve line out, up, connect. Come right here in the center at the top. One, two straight lines. On the right side, one, two curved lines. On the left side, one, two curved lines. Come right here at the bottom and draw a spiral on the right. Jump over, draw a spiral on the left. Come inside. We're going to draw curve line, curve line. Come on the left, we're going to draw a curve line. Connect on the left and a curved line. Connect on the right. We're going to fill this in with black so we don't forget. So I don't forget. Fill this in with black. Okay. Right in the center underneath, just put a curved line. And un now down below, curved line up, down, up, down, and out. Curve line down, up, connect. Now, fill in with straight lines going all the way up. Keep going till you come to that spiral and stop on the left. Now do the same thing, straight lines all the way up till you come to that spiral on the right. In the center, more little straight lines all the way up. Okay. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a curved line down on the left, curved line down on the right. Starting right about here, we're just going to go curved line, curved line, leave it floating. Come down below. We're going to draw straight diagonal, curved line, straight diagonal up. Come right down here on the left and we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line, curve line up. Come over here on the right, straight line, curve line in, connect. And let's add just one straight line, curve line up, connect again. Starting on the left, straight line, curve line, curve line, Straight diagonal over, curve line, curve line, connect. Come on the right, straight line, curve line, straight diagonal over, straight diagonal up, curve line, curve line, connect. 
down at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five straight lines on the left. One, two, three, four, five straight lines on the right. Come over here in the center and let's just draw some curved lines. Let's draw another curved line up over connect. Let's put one dot, two dots. All right. On the inside, we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line up. On the inside, we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line up. Come all the way down here. Straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, <clears throat> and leave it floating. Draw a straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right, straight line across, connect, straight line down, off the page, straight line down, off the page, come up to the top, straight line down, straight diagonal, off the page. All right. Come over here on the right, and we're going to go straight line, curve line, off the page. Straight line, curve line, off the page. Big straight line, curve line, off the page. Straight line, curve line, off the page. Come on the left hand side, we're going to do the same thing. Straight line, curve line, off the page. Straight line, curve line, off the page. Big straight line, curve line, off the page, straight line, curve line if you can fit. Come inside and we're just going to go straight line, scribble, straight line, scribble, scribble, zigzag, curve line, straight line, scribble, straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, scribble, straight line, straight line, scribble, scribble, straight line, one, two, three, straight lines. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, if you have multicultural crayons, you have a different degree of browns available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color using tan the detail parts of my Ramsey 2. So I'm doing his space right here. I'm doing his space right here. I'm doing this part down here. And I'm using a tan color. Okay. He's made out of stone. And I'm going to come down and do this section with my tan also. He's a sculpture. He's monumental. He's huge. And he stands alone. Now, next to him are these gigantic columns. So I'm going to color these all so with my tan. And if you don't have tan, just use your brown and make it light brown. Or you could also use orange. That would work too. Because we're not going for a realistic look. We're just going for an approximation. Which is a good way of saying, okay, maybe it doesn't look exactly like Ramsey 2, but it's close enough. Alright. Next, I take my regular brown. And I do this section up at the top. And I'm going to do, whoops, I forgot his mouth. I'm going to do this tan also. But the rest of him, I'm going to take my brown, and I'm going to color all of this brown. Okay? Now, the interesting part about all of this is that even this, drawing took me a long time to do because I didn't realize how much importance was placed on the proportions. So even if you look at this and you go, what? Use my number proportions to draw your own. You can Google him and see what he looks like. I did the one standing. There's one of him also sitting. 
he's just huge he's monumental it's a, unbelievable it's a great great sculpture but the number sequence of the dots that will help you keep him in the correct proportions now the last thing I did was very lightly with a loop-de-loop -loop, I did turquoise because when you go to Egypt and you look at the temple they've got that bright blue sky in the background that's very very impressive against the monumentally the monumentally against the whole column and sculpture part of Ramsey II. It's just amazing. Google it, it's really interesting. Okay, so this is my rendition of Ramsey II. For sure you'll do better, but this will get you started and don't forget the points. Alright, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Ramsey II. Be sure and use the one dot, two dot, three dot, two dot composition for your proportions. Okay, bye bye.